Uh, Congressman, let's talk about jobs. Um, there is an incentive movement out there now to um, help employers for low-income folks trying to get a job that would give them sort of a subsidy to cover some of that cost. Is that something that might work that would stimulate the job situation in this well, country? Or, is, or, or are we looking at, is, is that sort of, you know, look farther down the road? We're trying to do that. We're really putting a big push on hiring the veterans coming back. That's one of those things that we're, I think both sides really see a real obligation of society as a whole addressing it. But one of the biggest challenges you have is you're not going to get employers to hire people for if they can address it for one year because now you have all of these other costs. It's the, the salary is only about half of the cost of employing um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people. So the cost of health care, the cost of liability, um, the stability of are you going to have a market in the next four or five years that are going to justify this. That's one of the reasons why I've been trying to get Republicans and Democrats to get together and say, hey, look, guys, um, you know, the president may talk about borrowing a trillion dollars from China and putting our, a, a debt on our children, but there's not just a trillion, but two trillion dollars of American money overseas that could be brought back to American soil to create American jobs. But all that Congress needs to do is say, look, for two or three years, we'll allow businesses to bring back money and invest it in America if, if they, and they won't get a 35% penalty for bringing it back. We're the only country that does that. And, and the, um, except Poland, of course, Poland adopted our policy and we all know what happens there. But so the real issue is why would you borrow from China, steal from our grandchildren as Americans when there's American money that could be brought to, to American soil to create American jobs and stimulate the economy for the next few years? Now, the Democrats are concerned that, well, why don't we tax this? Well, if you don't bring it in, we never get this tax. And the Republicans want a, ready for this, a comprehensive tax bill. And I'm saying, look, we're in a crisis here. People need jobs. We need a stimulus. We need to help people get, get employed. We need to do this now rather than trying to do some big package. The biggest problem with Washington, they try to do it all at one time, and we all know that doesn't work out.